Okay, so I just wanted to share my recent experience with Magic the Gathering. My first ever Friday Night Magic playing a draft tournament. I'm very mixed. I don't know exactly what to say or think. I'm just going to share my experience with you. I wanted to do a pros and cons, but maybe it would just be better if I told my story. So basically I get there at about 6, maybe 6.10 ish uh i get signed up i pay my money and then we don't know anything and don't start playing or we we don't know anything until about seven and then the order and who else playing there were nine people total playing and we didn't play start playing until seven thirty. so i sat there for an hour and a half and basically played on my phone and et cetera, et cetera. So we go over the draft rules and everything. I start drafting. I know I want to play white. White's my favorite color to play. I love playing white aggro. And, you know, if you've ever played draft before, you also have to play some cards or, you know, there's some cards you just get stuck with or you have to draw something because there's no white or, you know, et cetera. So I end up playing a white green deck. Mistake number one. Never do that again. Uh, the first guy I went up against, there were four rounds. The first guy I went up against, very experienced player, knew what he was doing. The first game I played tough. Uh, the second game he just wiped the floor with me. It, it was bad. So I'm feeling a little dejected, but it's like, okay, experienced player, this is my first time, you know, don't get discouraged. Either way, so in the second round, I draw a bye. So for those of you who played F&M uh, draft, uh, I get automatic two wins. So I'm sitting at 2-2. Two, two. I'm back at 500 now. All right, back in the game. Uh, third round, I play another newbie, and he's playing white-black. Uh, so I'm getting going a little bit. I get an engine going uh, the first round. But he is playing three of the Black Planeswalker. Hold on just a second. And this is, of course, War of the Spark. So, hold on. Let me look this up real quick. Black War of the Spark Planeswalkers. Okay. He is playing, not Obnixilis. Okay. He's playing Davriel Rogue Shadow Mage. Okay. For any of you that don't know, this is a... Uh, at the beginning of opponent's upkeep, if this player has one or fewer cards in his hand, it deals two damage to me. And then his negative one is target player discards a card so he's just and he's got three of these in his deck or three of these three of these he just kills me with them in the first game second game i smash face i start i i get a couple of flyers out i get primordial worm i get a crocodile that's a five three i just smash face i didn't you know it, it was pretty Pretty good game, though, still. He made a game out of it. The first two games uh, in the third round were really good. And then in the third game, he just got so mana screwed. Like I said, he was playing white-black. He could not draw a swamp to save his life. I just I, I shut him out 20-0. I felt bad for the guy. And I hate to – I like winning, but I don't like winning that way. It was – you know, you hate to see somebody get mana screwed, but especially if it's happened to you. So now I've got – Three losses and six wins. So I'm, you know, in a good position. I feel good. I go up against the number one seed in the tournament, and it is a bloodbath. He's playing a blue-black control deck. I think maybe I might have done, in two games against him, I might have done three points of damage. I might have took three life off of him in the two games that I played against him in the final round. It was a bloodbath. It, it, it was just, it was murder. Uh, this blue-black control deck this guy was playing, it was unbelievable. Just total slaughter. Uh, so that puts me at six and four for the night, which is good enough for fourth place. And I win two free decks. Go me. But I'm still feeling really dejected. It's like, damn, the only guy I stood a chance against was the other newbie. And I know that you're supposed to that kind of is the ebb and flow until you start playing draft and learning how to um, draft car, draft yourself. 
you're going to get beat up a little bit, but man, it was, uh, it was really turning me off. Then the tides turn as they sometimes do. So I get my two free decks that I won and you know, okay, that's cool. Uh, and I pulled some pretty sweet cards. <laughs> War of the Spark, man. This has been the best. Uh, I mean, I know I've only been playing for less than a year, but this has been the best by far as far as uh, iterations or which generations, whatever the technical term is. See, I don't even know the proper wording. But I got a Soren's Thirst, which for those of you that don't know, it is a two drop or two black instant that you do two damage to a target creature and you gain two life that's a very nice card a Samet tyrant smasher this is going to be perfect for tabitha everybody who's ever played with tabitha knows she likes to play gruel and she loves to smash face that is a two and a red or a green and a red or a green all creatures you control have haste and target creature her that's her static and then her negative one Target creature gets plus two, plus one, and gains haste until end of turn, uh, and you get to scry one. But that doesn't make a whole lot of sense because creatures you control have haste anyway. Uh, either way. Uh, still a pretty sweet little planeswalker. Uh, I don't know why, but I pulled this one. Everybody said it's like a $3 card, and you know I had a couple of guys want to trade me for it, but it's a silent submersible. It's an artifact vehicle, two blue. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player planeswalker you get to draw a card and it's a crew for two it's an artifact vehicle it's a two three but it's the foil and everybody was just like "Ooh, i'll trade you this i'll trade that and i was like no nah, i want to share my experience with everybody besides none of those bastards would trade. i was wanting to trade that's the other reason i went to friday night magic um my wife is out of town and i'm bored and i really miss my best friend so i was hoping to go make new friends uh anyway no, um, it was nobody would trade me a Gideon Black Blade. I was willing to trade a Blood Moon, which right now is an eighteen dollar card, and I was also willing to trade uh, Arcane Strategist or Archimedes the Strategist Foil, which is another eighteen dollar card. I was willing to trade both of them for a Gideon Black Blade. Nobody would do it. Black Blade, as far as I know, is still like a fourteen dollar card. So somebody would have easily doubled, close to triple their money on me. Nobody would do it, so F that. Uh, then I also got in one of my packs, Enter the God Eternals, uh, two of any color, two blue and a black. I'm not going to read the entire text, but let me tell you something. That is a sweet bomb of a sorcery. It really, really is. Great, great card. And then I almost had to run out of the st of my local game store because I drew... Liliana Dreadhorde General, the foil, the $70 card. Wow, I lost it. The only guy who wasn't like trying to hit me up for a trade was one of the other kids. He drew a nickel bolas. So, um, yeah, so I was like, oh shit, you know, $70 Liliana card. This is awesome. Um, wrapping this up real quick, I just wanted to say in closing, I love playing Magic. Nothing's going to change that. I still. I might try Finding Night Magic one again, knowing a little bit better with a little more knowledge, a little bit better armed. I've got to learn how to play blue black or play against blue black. But either way, uh, yeah, I, I know Friday Night Draft, I know Modern, and I know EDH are the big three, I guess, from what I've been told. But. I'm just going to stick to playing on the kitchen table with uh, my play group and friends probably. And, you know, not because, you know, I can't play or I don't want to get beat all the time. I don't mind getting beat. I don't mind losing. That doesn't bother me. Getting beat down the way I did tonight, that's not fun. And I don't want this game to lose it being fun. So, uh, yeah, thanks. And that's my experience. Let me know what your experiences are in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys.